Good, good afternoon, everybody. Miley, Tyrese, Luda, everybody. I just wanted you guys to see this video. Now, I'm standing over here on the driver's side of my newly acquired 1975-1976 uh, VW Bug, okay? Now, it's got a ton of rust on it, okay? A ton, look at that. You see all that rust up there? You see all that rust? I'm gonna show you guys the scientific way of resolving most of that rust, okay? Some vinegar okay distilled vinegar the best rust eater in all of nature <laughs> best way I can okay and I'm just gonna pour it right on there and I'm gonna show you guys an area all right I can't really see hold on oops let me try this all right, uh, all right, can you guys see? All right, you see the front windshield? All right, now look at this. I'm gonna pour a little bit of vinegar. Can you guys see that? Okay, you see that? I poured some vinegar on there. That vinegar is gonna sit on there, puddle, and eat the rust. It's gonna dissolve that rust, you see? It's gonna clean out all that, it's gonna sterilize everything while I'm at it. So I can get it ready for painting. I'm gonna paint first. And that's the order I wanna do things in, see? Now. Usually, when you pour vinegar on rust, it turns black. Kind of. Let's see how it turns black. So now it's starting to inhibit. It's starting to inhibit the rust. See, it's getting rid of all that rust. See that? Vinegar, straight vinegar, is a great rust inhibitor. It's cheap, you can get lots of it, you can soak it every day till you're ready to do the work on it. It also inhibits rust, which is really good. So, I am gonna take this, right on the car, pour it right on the rusty areas. And I'm gonna make sure all that rust is gone. No more rust. See, watch. If I let it sit, if I apply a little torch heat on it, that rust will go right away. Look at this, look at this, look at what it's doing already. Right here, right here. Right here. See that? See that? Look, see? Right there. That's rust inhibiting right there. At its finest. So, there's the scientific way to get rid of rust. And, okay, for instance, you know those little um, loaf pans? Uh, they get rusty real easy if you leave them out somewhere, right? Don't think that a rusty one is bet is no good. Scrap. 
Now, check this out. You take a little of this right here. Fill it to about a quarter of the loaf pan, right? Then you put the loaf pan on top of the stove. You bring the the vinegar to a boil. And then you then you turn on once it's boiling, boil it for about 2 minutes and then turn it off. Once you've done that, you've applied the heat and the acids activate, okay? Then you let it cool to room temperature. Then you should go in there and re repeat the process if necessary. And by that time, all the rust, you just take like a, you know, pot scrubber, one of those uh, paper, uh, pot scrubbers. Just rub it right out of there, it's gone. Brand new, even out of the metal. Trust me, that works. So, I'm kind of a scientific kind of guy. And if you look at the periodic table, what's the opposite of an alkaline or oxidation? Check this out. It's acid. It's an acid-based. Anything that's carbon-based, the opposite of carbon is an acidic alkaline base. So you need to know that. In case you don't. I mean, some people don't. So I was kind of putting it out there. A little bit. So I just wanted you guys to see that. So I think I'm going to sand this thing down and I'm going to pour some more of this uh, vinegar on there and get it started and see what happens. You know? I got to loosen up all that rust on the car. You know? Anyway, I just wanted to make this. I'm going to upload it and then you guys are going to be like, whoa, that dude's smart. So yeah, I am very science-based. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, um, hope your days, I hope all you, you, your days are going well. And uh, I'm actually, oh, I wanted to show you guys something. While I'm here, I don't know if you can see this. When I show you, I'm going to buy a section of this land right here. I, I think it's about, what, one to two acres or something. Or a three, three acre parcel. I'm not sure. But it's like 800 bucks. And I'm just going to put a trailer on it. And start building a little house on it. A little one. Now. Okay. See this kind of cutout right here? Can anybody see this cutout right here? This little bare area? Okay, that's the driveway. Now, everything from that line to that telephone pole to that pine tree sitting over there, it is pretty much gonna be mine. Okay? That telephone, this telephone pole right there is my property line, so to speak. And then you got that pine tree. The pine tree is sort of a reference point for the property line. So, okay, you get it. And so everything from right around there to there. So I'm gonna get me a piece of that, that land right there for 800 bucks. Yep, I'm buying it. I'm making monthly payments on it too. And once I pay it off, it's all mine. I'll have a place to come back to when I go see Miley. And when I see you, Miley, I, and you say, I need a break or I'm going on tour and you can't come. Okay, I'm going to Colorado then. I'll ride with you to go to Colorado or I'll drive my own car or something. <laughs> I'll come back here and hang out for a little while. You come to Colorado, give me a kiss, a hug, whatever and then you'll zip out the, the early next morning i'll still be asleep and all that i know all the little scenario eh, hypothetical anyway <laughs> anyway uh just wanted to make this video and uh you know give you guys a little bit of an appraisal of what i'm doing and uh show you a little bit of science while i'm at it now, I just woke up around 12.30, so I uh, haven't had all my coffee yet. 
Um, I slept really, really hard to this last night. And I'm still a bit uh, dragging, so yeah. Um, hey, I'm giving a lot of love to you guys. I wish I could hug all of you guys right now. I wish I could hug you guys. Um, I guess I'll talk to you when you guys decide to hit me up. If you ever do. Ha 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 Oh, we'll, we'll get to that, right? Alright. Hey. I love you all. I say that with a genuine sense about it. Alright? Love you guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye.